Hello guys, welcome to Pep Coding. In this video, we are going to discuss a question named Broken Economy. Uh, let's understand the question first. For that, I have to take this array with me to the whiteboard. Okay. Now uh, here's the thing. So there are two guys. First, we'll call him one. We called him Money Exchange guy, and the second one we'll call him Foreigner guy. And these this collection are actually the notes available to money exchange guy so what the question statement here uh let's just say foreigner guy wants 33 rupees notes so what he will money exchange guy will do he will check in his collection that he is having 33 rupees notes or not if he is if he is having he will do what he will do he will just give him 33 rupees notes right so what we have to do we have to print 33 okay and the second thing is second thing is just say foreigner guy wants 35 rupees note so what he will what will money exchange guy will do he will check in his collection that he is having 35 rupees notes or not as we can as we can see he is not having right so what in that case what we will do money exchange guy will give him two options first option is going to be just smaller value than 35 in his collection and what is it what is that it is 33 33 is what just smaller just smaller and the second option is going to be just greater see it's very easy just greater so money exchange guy is going to give two option and we have to print that so if money exchange guy is having that particular note we will just print that note but in case he is not having that note in that case we are going to print just smaller value just greater value just smaller value is floor actually we call that floor and just greater value we call that seal so what we actually have to find we have to find seal and floor of the money of the money foreigner guy want for that array for this array right so let's discuss the approach how we'll achieve this so for this we need to know binary search algorithm so please anyone who don't know what is binary search algorithm please watch the video of binary search okay let's back to the video okay so the note corner guy one is 35 so what i am going to do here we are going to define two variable first is floor and second is seal and we are going to initialize that with minus one and again two variable low and high as we do in binary search <clears throat> let's do the indexing first zero one two three four five six seven okay let's work so what we will do as we have initialized floor flow and seal now we have two variables low and so low and high so low is going to be first index and high is going to be last index that is seven and with the help of low and high what we do actually we find mid how low plus high by two so zero plus seven by two we will get three so we'll come here at the third index and we will check what we will check that what is third index actually so as we can see third index is 22 so what we will do we will check that our third index is equals to 35 or not the money actually foreigner guy wants it is not so what we will check we will check that mid value is smaller or greater so in that case this is smaller so what we should do we should not search 35 in the left area in the left area why because in the left area it is sorted array so in the left area every element is going to smaller than 22 and 22 is smaller than 35 so there is a no need to search in the left area so wh how what we will do we will update low by mid plus one low is going to update it by mid plus one and we will search in the right area right and in the next iteration what we will do we will search in the right area right okay but
but before going to the next iteration i'm going to do one thing i'm going to update floor by the last mid what was that that was that was 22 right why i'm doing so see 22 is smaller than 35 right and any value which is smaller than 35 that could be i'm not saying that can be but that could be our floor so what i am to do i'm going to update floor update floor by 22 so that and later you will understand that in every iteration floor and seal is going to update with more closer value right so for now what i'm going to do i'm just going to update floor by the mid value see mid is smaller right and that could be the possible floor so i am i have just updated that and in the next iteration what we will do we'll again find mid again find mid as i will go here 4 plus 7 by 2 that is 5 so we'll check 5 we'll check 5 what it is it is 40 so tell me 40 is 40 is smaller or greater than 35 it is greater than so what we should do we should not search in the right area so what i am going to do i am going to update high by mid minus 1 so i will be updated now i am going to update seal by 40 before going to the next iteration i am going to do this why again see 40 is greater than 35 right so this could be our seal so what i have did what i have did i have updated seal by 40 if in the next iteration i will get the more closer value of floor and seal i will update that and that will get updated as you can see here now mid will be 4 plus 4 by 2 that is 4 so now mid is here and what's in the mid in the mid element is 33 which is smaller than 35 now so what i should do i should update low by mid plus 1 now so i will update okay. now before going to the next iteration tell me one thing mid element was 33 is 33 smaller than 35 or not it is so what i should do i should update floor again by 33 so I, as i said as i will go to the next iteration our floor and seal will become more accurate as you see initially floor was 22 now it is 33 okay now now as you can see here you can see here our low has become high and this only happens when there is no such element there no such element exists in the array so what i will do here i will understand that i have to stop search now right so what i will do i will stop the searching here and see the seal and floor value has been completed in the floor we have gotten 33 and the seal we have gotten 40 and for 35 in this array seal and floor has been updated so what we will do we will we will print that so let's code this one by one so here input and output has been managed for us in the list we'll have all the collection money exchange guy has in the key we'll have the note money exchange sorry foreigner guy wants so let's build a function and name that broken economy broken broken economy economy and pass it list and key and what it will do it will print seal and floor in case money exchange guy don't have the 
particular so let's build it let's do this b economy economy asset list p okay so as i said first i will declare two function and it slice that with minus one that is floor and seal now next is going to be low that we are going to initialize that with zero and high that is going to the last index length of list minus one all set while till what when we are going to search this till low is smaller than high okay so what i'm going to do here first as i said i will find mid how low plus high by low plus high by two now i will check if our mid element mid element is equals to r key or not if it is what i should do i should print that rupee okay and i should stop search so i will return but if there's a, that element is not equals to our key i will check for smaller or bigger value that our mid element is small or big if it is small then what i will do i will update low by mid plus one and i will update floor that mid is smaller but that can be our floor so update floor with that value and the last is this of mid is greater than our key yes okay the last possibility could be list of mid could be greater than key so for that what we are going to do high is going to be updated by mid minus one and update seal how by list of mid okay all all done now what i am going to do i am going to print print seal seal and floor okay so i have to print the seal first and then floor so all set let me run this it is accepting let me try to submit this yeah it is submitting so hope you like the video like the video please like share and comment and please subscribe to our youtube channel thank you